Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been gone for a little while. The past week I've been sick with an upper respiratory infection and I had a rash all over my face for uh, the past several days. It keeps going away and resurfacing, so sorry if I look absolutely crazy. But um, one of my most highly requested videos on both YouTube and Instagram is to talk about the new Hummingbird Park and Hummingbird Blooms pattern that um, came out quite recently from Vera Bradley. I did pick up a few things, <laughs> a few things in the Hummingbird Park patterns and one thing in the Hummingbird Blooms, which is the reactive version of that print. And so today I'm just going to show you the bags that I got, talk about the pattern. And uh, there are a, a couple new styles, new to me styles that I can um, do more in-depth reviews on in different videos, but I will try to um, just go through the, the pattern and the features today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first item I have here, very excited. I just got this one um, in the mail a couple of days ago. This is the large Vera tote in the Cotton Hummingbird Park. So first we'll just talk about the pattern. I picked this one first because this is one of the items I was most excited to receive. And also it's the, minus the throw, it is the largest item that I have in Hummingbird Park. So I thought it would be the best item to demonstrate the pattern with. So with Hummingbird Park, this is a highly anticipated pattern. I know a lot of people were looking forward to this pattern releasing since early last year when it was announced. And because of uh, the COVID-19 virus, Vera Bradley halted the pattern. I think even at one point they canceled it and then they decided to postpone the release altogether to this spring. So when this came out, it was a huge excitement last week. Um, and it's also really exciting too because they did bring back a few retired styles that would not have been retired last year at this time, but they are retired this year that are now available for purchase on the Vera Bradley website. And some of those styles include the 100 handbag, the Carson East West tote, and the large on the go. So those were um, recently available this week and can only be found, to my knowledge, on the Vera Bradley website. Um, so it, it's just been an exciting couple of weeks uh, with this Hummingbird Park pattern. So here, again, I've got the large Vera tote and it has to be very easily, besides my custom totes, this is the softest, most plush Vera tote that I have. Uh, typically when I buy uh, signature line Vera totes that are new with tags, they are very stiff and they usually don't soften up until I use them several times. This I bought directly from Occasionally Yours, and there's a little bit of backstory there. Um, I This is the tote that they shared in an ad on their Instagram, and I reached out to them and asked if they had this exact, you know, the exact pictured tote, and they said, oh, let me call the store um, who had the, that, that picture, and they still did, and it was, funny enough, the store that I used to shop at, and I got this for store credit, which was awesome. But uh, with that aside, I was just super excited to, uh, to receive this tote. So this has a background color that's very interesting and that was one of the most uh, asked questions that I've received on my Instagram. To me, and I know pe everybody sees color differently and different lightings and things like that, but to me the background is a soft, light, grayish lavender color. And when I say the background, I'm not talking about these floral details, but I'm talking about this background color here. It's like a soft, light grayish lavender. And I'll tell you when it's full sun in here, you can really see the lavender pop. Right now, it's kind of cloudy outside. It, there is some sun, um, but it is just a little cloudy. I'll try to squeeze open the, the blinds just a little bit more but um I would say the colors right now are very accurate but I will say in some lightings you can see that lavender background color pop even more so that is what I would say the background color is and then the floral inlays on top of that so these 
are clearly a deeper lavender color. They almost match this flower here that you'll see the hummingbird is feeding off of. Upon speculation, I only found one unique hummingbird in the Hummingbird Park print. There is more than one different type of illustrated hummingbird in the reactive version, Hummingbird Blooms. But upon inspection, there's only one hummingbird in this print and it's the same one feeding off of the same flower in the same flying position um, or levitating, uh, idling, however you want to call it, position. And so on my tote here, you'll see there's one here, one in the middle section on the pocket, and then another one here. And I actually think there's another, actually a fourth on the bottom there, which you can only really see when the tote is, you know, open, the base is down, but right now it's kind of, I don't have anything in it. I thought that would be the easiest way to demonstrate it if it was empty. But the hummingbird is not the only star of the show. I am a full believer looking at this pattern that it, every element, every flower, every detail, every leaf, everything is just beautiful. And I just want to take this opportunity with the Veer Tote, since it is um, one of the larger items, to just get you in close so you can see those details for yourself and just marvel at the not only the beauty and the color, but the just the overall detail that went into this. I love that, you know, some of the flowers that are done have colors almost popping out, almost melting off of the flowers. I love it when they do that. And, um, they actually did the same kind of detailing, kind of shading with Lavender Meadow, which I did a, a quick comparison of those two prints on my Instagram not too long ago. But that floral arrangement right in the middle there, especially the bell leaves, I love these like bell-like flowers, are some of my favorite parts of this print. And there are no hummingbirds in this section. Um, there might be one. I think there is supposed to be one nearby down here, but um, that would have been cut off. But I just love how that is smack dab in the middle there. And then just to get another look at the side panel. So if you are in a store or if you're looking at something online and you want to quickly find the hummingbird, the, the two things that I look for in Hummingbird Park is this big flower because there's nothing else in the print that looks like this flower. There are flowers that look like this, and there are other flowers that look like this, but this is the only flower that is shaped like so. It's got the elongated, more pointed leaves instead of the rounded leaves. So if you're ever looking for the hummingbird, it's going to be sitting right below that flower right there. So if you're ever looking for the hummingbird, just look for that big hot pink flower and you'll find it. So here, let's go over to the middle panel. Um, where the pocket is. We've got some nice uh, peach-like flowers here. Um, I hope you can see on camera. I would say the colors are, it's a little brighter, I think, for me on my end, and maybe I need to, to see if I can get the light any better in here. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, I'd say that's a little bit, a little bit better. It seems to be better when I back it up, but I want to make sure I can get you in to see the details. Um, but then you've got those nice tulip-like flowers right below the hummingbird, and then behind the zipper is the flower that um, it feeds off of. I actually love the darker blue, um, almost purple leaf detailing, and I actually got a good piece of that on my uh, zip ID, which I'll show here shortly. And then we'll uh, swap, switch over to the other panel. Again, it's all the same bird. So we've got the same flower here. We've got the nice hummingbird there. And then you've got that larger flower arrangement that you see here, over here. So it's the same piece. And then that's where the, you know, the pattern repeats. And you've got that same big pink reddish flower with the hummingbird right below it there. So just to kind of back up here so you can see the tote as a whole. That's what it looks like. And again, I think this is one of the softest Vera totes that I own. Another reason this just popped in my head, why this might be so soft is because instead of the two pieces of fabric being uh, sewn together, um, 
kind of like this. So this is my custom tote in Cheerful Snails. So instead of the two pieces being sewn together like this, they instead sewed a flat piece of fabric here for the trim. So this Veer tote has trim, which is fabulous. And that might be why it is a little bit softer than my other Veer totes. Because I actually don't think I have any Veer totes that have trim. This might be my first. I do have small Veer totes that have trim, but this might be my first large. So that might be why I'm experiencing this for the first time. But I'll kind of flatten out this trim and it is absolutely breathtaking. So you've got more of those bell flowers, but they're done in a different color. And you've got more of those wide purple flowers. And then you have my favorite hummingbird. And this is the hummingbird that is illustrated in the Hummingbird Blooms reactive version of the print, which Hummingbird Blooms, I believe, is the same as the interior. It's just a little bit blown up. It's bigger, which we'll take a look at here soon. But I love the hummingbird that's sitting on the little leaf there, um, surrounded by the row, the string of flowers, and you've got more purple flowers there. And if you keep going down into the trim, it kind of repeats. So you've got those same bell flowers, and you've got that little hummingbird just sitting there, peering off into the, to the beautiful florals. So that is what the trim looks like on both sides. And I, I just love the touch of trim. I sort of wish Vera Bradley would put trim on any bag that they can. So like, for example, the 100 handbag in this print is going to have the trim. The small Vera is going to have the trim. There's a wallet that comes with trim on it. Um, so there are several opportunities to get different styles of trim. Um, I think the smaller items that have trim are just flowers. I don't know that they have the hummingbirds in them, but they're still beautiful. So if we segue over to the back of the tote, let me try to move my fingers out of the way. This is a good opportunity to see more of the print because there is no pockets on the back. So this is one whole big piece of fabric, whereas the front, you know, the pocket cuts in um, and the fabric is cut up a little bit. So this is a good place to see the whole piece of fabric. So you'll see the hummingbird repeats the pattern repeats, so you've got that big flower. The big flower's cut off here, but you can see there is a hummingbird right there at the top. There it is again. And you get a good look at that background color again. Again, right now it's showing up more gray on camera, but to me with the lighting in uh, this room, it is very much lavender. Like I can definitely see the lavender in the background. That's the same with the trim. The trim is like that grayish, lavender color and the zipper pull which is a ribbon and the metal hardware is also that very light gray lavender color and so just to get you that panel so there are no hummingbirds to my knowledge on either of these panels because they're basically the same pattern placement just positioned differently and then there's the base Okay, so with that being said, and the straps are also like, it's just, I just can't believe how soft it is when it came in and it wasn't stiff. Like for example, um, one of my, besides the custom tote, the last new with tags Vera tote that I got was in Neon Blooms. That was stiff and that is still stiff even though I've used it several times since I bought it. This is just so, so soft. And again, I do think the trim and the way the fabric was attached has something to do with that. So here is um, a little bit of a recessed zipper. I think there is a hummingbird somewhere hiding up here. Yes, there is <laughs> kind of, he's kind of squished up in that corner, very hard to see, but he's there. Um, oh yes, you do have, you know, this is the, the Vera tote, so you do have that nice cell phone or hidden pocket at the top. And then open up the bag. And then you get that beautiful interior print. And with this print, you do have hummingbirds inside. So again, I would say the background again is that, you know, it's more of actually a pinkish white color, the background of the, of the inside of the tote. Then you've got those lovely blush pink florals that has kind of like a, a periwinkle 
touch and then you've got that darker blue to shade in the leaves. I, I will say sometimes the hummingbirds inside of this um, interior print are a little bit harder to spot so you have to kind of have an eagle eye at some point. So there's a hummingbird there for example. There's another one right there. There's one with its wings open right here. And there's another one on the branch. So I think those are the main iterations of that um, of the hummingbirds on the interior pattern. But just want to give you another look inside. So you can spot more even on the base at the bottom. You, so with your Virato, you do have the, the six interior slip pockets. So that is sort of a quick, well, 15 minutes. I don't know if you call that quick, but that's sort of a, a walk through with the Hummingbird Park print. So with that, we'll move on to the other items that I got. So the next item is a new to me item. This is the triple, com no, not the triple compartment, the multi, multi compartment shoulder bag. <laughs> I, it was between getting this and the Carson and I do like the Carson shoulder bag, but it's, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about it. It's great. We'll just leave it at that. But I, I wanted to try something new. So I decided to go with this. I also found that I can make this a crossbody. So, and, and when I tested it out with stuff inside, I do have things inside of here right now just to give it some shape because um, I did buy this at um, a retail store and they brought out like five or six of them for me to look at. I ended up going with the one on display because it had the best placement. Um, and it did ha it did come with stuffing in it, but I, I said that they could go ahead and take that out and I ended up putting my own pouches and things inside just to give it some shape because it was a little bit bent up. But I wanted to try something new and I knew I could put a crossbody strap on it if I wanted to, so I was, I was very happy with that. But we'll just walk through uh, the features and, and maybe some hummingbird spottings um, with this bag since it is new. But I can come back on here one day when I'm actually using the bag and do a what's in my bag and let you know what I think. But with this bag, you do get two shoulder straps and it is a nice strap drop. I do believe the strap drop is longer than the current Glenna satchel. Um, so just to, just to try it on for you real quick, this is where it falls on me as a shoulder bag, if I relax my shoulder, that's where it falls. So it's got a nice strap drop, very comfortable, nice under the arm, nice throwing it back behind the arm. And this is considered the front of the bag because we do got the pleather label, but again, it's identical on both sides. So it doesn't matter what you wanna use as the front of the bag. But you do have a cell phone type pocket here. The um, first hidden magnetic compartment is just one open compartment, but you do see the nice, you know, hummingbird print on the inside. I also have uh, the triple compartment crossbody. You'll see that back there in French Paisley. It is identical to this. So um, I brought that out because I do want to do a comparison video on the two someday because they're basically exactly the same just a, maybe a couple short, uh, slight differences. One being that that comes with a crossbody strap. This doesn't, uh, but size is basically the main difference. Um, but anyway, then you've got your main compartment between these two hidden magnet compartments. You've got double zipper action, comes down to a uh, little bit more than halfway on either side, opens up nice and wide, so there you can get an, an even closer look at the interior pattern. And you see that I've got some pouches and little things inside of there. And then the next hidden compartment uh, or hidden magnet compartment, you know, it's another open compartment, except with this one, they do give you an interior zip to protect maybe your, your stuff. And then on the other side, they give you one last outside slip. This one comes with a hidden magnet and it is bigger than the cell phone type slip. This one is bigger, looks like that. And just to kind of pick out the hummingbirds on this, so again, they brought out like six of these for me at the store, and this one, there was, I think, two of them that had no hummingbirds that I could see on like, like the outside bag, outside pieces of the bag, but this one had the most. 
So again, I love these uh, downward facing bell flowers, especially the trio. So I did put that into consideration when I was choosing between the final two that had decent hummingbird placement. I was like, I want to pick this one because this one has got mo the most of these, these bell flowers. So it wasn't just about the hummingbirds uh, with this print for me. You'll, you'll see that with a couple other items that, yeah, there might be hummingbirds, but there are other reasons that I picked the placement that I picked, um, at least with the things that I was able to choose in the store myself. So yes, you got those bell flowers. Love that. Love that right there on the front. I also really like the purple, lavender, um, almost watercolor like flowers here because they do add, a, they added like a touch of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like lavender, but there's like a pink shade in there too with that, that double set of purple flowers. And I really liked that. I also like this giant fan like leaf that's dark. I think it when you back the print up, those really stick out, and I just think it's stunning. But there is a little hummingbird up here, and believe it or not, I did not notice that little guy until I got home. So this wasn't even in this wasn't even a factor for me as to why I chose it in the store because I didn't see it there. Um, but that, to my knowledge, is the only hummingbird on this panel because I did miss it before. Um, no hummingbirds on this, this strap. Um, not on the base. So here's the side panel. And then again, we flip it to the other side. We've got those bell flowers, which I really liked and wanted. I also love, 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 love that darker blue leaf detailing. Cause I, I just think that's so elegant. And there are pieces like this in Lavender Meadow, which is one of the reasons why I like that print so much too. On this strap on the other side of the bag, there is a part of a hummingbird. So when I saw that, I was like, that's kind of cool. I know it's not a full hummingbird, but it's very cute. So this, I um, again, I haven't taken this out yet to use out in the world, but I have filled it up with stuff and carried it around the house just to see what it would feel like on the shoulder. In case I didn't like it, you know, in case I wanted to return it as soon as possible, I did that and decided that I liked it enough, especially when I realized I could attach a crossbody strap to it and carry it that way. But here's kind of what I'm considering the front of the bag because we've got that little guy right there and there's also another full one right here, which even though the pocket is, you know, kind of covering half of its body, when I have the bag setting down or if it's on a, a, a straight level, I can still see it poking up there. So it's just really cute to have. And there's also, you know, that piece of one on the strap there. So I really like that. And I also like the, the two um, upward facing flowers right below the hummingbird. So yeah, it wasn't just the hummingbird that was a decision. I did not see that one before. That one's new to me now too. But it was those nice little bell flowers that I liked as well in this print. So that is the multi-compartment shoulder bag. Again, I'll be back on YouTube sometime with a what's in my bag and a comparison to the mini version in French Paisley that I've got back there. They did come out with the uh, mini multi-compartment shoulder bag um, in this print. They did have really good ones in the store with good hummingbird placement, like literally smack dab on the front on both sides. It was very, very tempting not to buy it, but that was, those bags are like, $70. So I did have to exhibit some sort of self-control and not get that and leave it to somebody that, you know, likes this pattern too, that might want to buy it. Just real quick, I know we're 24 minutes in, but I do have my Lug Heather Indigo strap and I pulled this out and I'm using my Ranger right now with the Heather Gray strap, but I did pull these out for a specific reason and I'll get to that once I get to the reactive hipster. But this, I realized, makes a fabulous crossbody bag. Or, you know, one strap shoulder bag, however you want to call it. So if you connect, and I connected it wrong, let me connect it to the other side here. But if you connect this to this piece of metal hardware and then on the other side the opposite strap 
you have got a crossbody. And I did that and I was like, I'm really happy with that. I like the way it sits. I mean, it's really lightweight right now because I have a bunch of pouches in it, but I really like that. And that's kind of what made me decide, you know, I already liked it as a shoulder bag by just quick testing it out. But once I did that, I was like, okay, I, I like this. And here it is as like a one strap shoulder bag if I want to use it like that. So yeah. That is the multi-compartment shoulder bag. So now we can move on to a couple of the accessories and we'll go through these a little bit quicker. This is the mini cosmetic. Um, got it from my signature store. Had a hummingbird right there on the front. And here's the back with the nice little bellflower placement that I like so much. And the inside of the main, in the main pocket is plastic lined, but you still got the interior print. And then the smaller pocket is soft cotton. The next piece I just got in the mail yesterday. This is the RFID wristlet. I did order this online. Did not know what my pattern placement was going to be, but I was really excited to see that there was a hummingbird on it. And the beautiful floral piece here. This is my first RFID wristlet as well, so I'm really excited to try this out. But you have a zipper pocket on the back. And then here's your main zipper that goes across and down a little bit. And you've got eight card slots on one side. It is RFID protected. And you've got a, a bill slot and then an open pocket. And on the other side, you've got one, two, three, four card slots. No, you've got two and then two ID windows. Then another bill slot. In the back you can use for your phone or coins or whatever you want. It does come with a wristlet strap, but I am using that on something else, which we'll go to right now. So this is my current wallet. This is the Zip ID, and I bought this from a, a Hallmark on Instagram that posted their uh, Hummingbird Park loot, and I asked if they had any Zip IDs with good placement, and they sent me a picture, and I said I will take it. So uh, this is the placement. And again, I've got that lovely uh, leaf placement that I wanted. It's getting a little bit, a uh, little bit, um, it's a little bit blown out there. And then here's the wristlet strap. So I haven't purchased the lanyard in this yet because, um, yeah, I just feel like I don't need it right now. <laughs> you know, maybe when it goes on sale, I'll get the wristlet. But I decided just to take the wristlet strap off the RFID wristlet and use it here. And there's the front. Just took my ID out for now. Got a nice little hummingbird in the window. And then these two items. So this one I have had since like September of last year when Amazon was, they were starting to sell some of their hummingbird park stuff. And I believe this was the stock image item. So this is the item that they took a stock image of. And we this was still around the time where it wasn't I think I bought this before September. I can't remember. Maybe it was August. But anyway, this was before we weren't sure whether or not they were releasing this print. So I did pick this up off of Amazon at that time. And it does have the upside down hummingbird on it because some of the fabrics are upside down on some of the items. So that's something to be aware of. But I still loved it. Got the bellflowers there. But I went into um, a local retailer that sells Vera. I should not have looked at this. I knew I should have just let it be because I knew if it had hummingbird placement, I would want it. And lo and behold, it did. And it's not upside down. Look at her right there. And then we've got the lovely bellflower and I couldn't leave it behind. So I did pick up another glasses case, double eyeglass case. And I really like this placement too with that right down in the bottom and it just kind of, you know, splays up just beautifully. So I did pick up that. And we just have a couple more items here. We'll move to the reactive uh, before we get to the blanket. But this is my very first reactive hipster. Second one is on the way because I like, like the style very much. I actually am not a fan of the... They're okay. They're not, not necessarily deal breakers, but 
I'm someone who likes to modify my bags if I can make them better for me. So I just went ahead and did it because I'm crazy. So I did cut off the strap. I actually even removed the plastic hardware, put my Vera Bradley key rings from my zip or my lanyards on here. That way I can, um, I can attach different straps. So I had this, I'm using the, this is my bag today. This is the uh, Heather Gray Lug Ranger. Cause I just really wanted to, I was using this for a week and I just switched from this to this. I just kind of wanted a, a nice solid bag to use for today. But when I was using this bag, I decided that these two straps, both this solid gray and the uh, Heather Indigo back there, both lug straps, look really good with this bag. So, and I will do a what's in my bag on this too someday. But here is the Heather or the Heather Gray strap with it. Hooks right onto the key rings and it's a nice swivel strap so it's not getting tangled when I'm picking it up. It's just very, very easy to use. So I, I once I modified it, I was like, dang, I, I like this more than the triples of hipster because it's around the same dimensions, but it fits so much more and it's good for the environment and it's water resistant. So really, really like this bag. So there's the Vera Bradley um, rubberized or plasticized nameplate. There's a hummingbird right in the middle. I did pick this up in my store and this was the display item. But this is looks just like the interior of the hummingbird park, but just again, it's, it's blown up. And there are kind of less birds it looks like as well and more white space. The background looks white on camera, but it is like a whitish pink. So there is a pink hue in it that's not necessarily coming forward right now um, but here's the back and there's another hummingbird down here this is one's actually my favorite in this pattern I do love this one too but this one's my favorite so on the back you do have a um, inverse zipper pocket I love this I probably would not have purchased this bag if it did not have this pocket right here because I love throwing my phone and my keys and even sometimes my wallet in this, this big pocket here. Just one big open pocket. And then it also has this nice sort of discreet side pocket. I put my wet wipes in there. And then it's got the uh, uh, chunky plastic zipper at the top, nice and smooth. And the organization inside is real simple. You've got the back zipper and then two very large mesh slip pockets, large enough to fit a mini cosmetic inside, a full mini cosmetic. But the capacity is just great. I was able to fit everything in here, throw extra things inside when I needed to. It was just wonderful. So again, I've got another one of these coming um, and I'm really excited because I'm gonna end up switching right into it when it comes. Last but not least, the blanket. Drum roll please. This thing is gorgeous. So originally in the store, I walked out with these two items and then I had to go back like 10 minutes before they closed. I ran back in and got the blanket because it's just, it's more than stunning. I mean, it's gonna be so large um, the way the pattern is laid out since this one's got critters in it. Kind of hard to like show you the full scope of it, but um, this is what it looks like. So the background color of this one is actually more of a gray, I would say. A little more of a gray. But then you've got more hummingbirds, so you can kind of see those two there. And I'll keep shifting down here so we can see different parts of the print. So there's those nice bell flowers. We've got a little more white space in this pattern, which is okay. So keep on shifting down. So there's another hummingbird right there in the middle. And there's another one on the side. And just to get you in close so you can see how beautiful the details and how saturated the blanket is. And then let's shift down to the bottom piece of the, the fabric here. And there's that, the hummingbird in the corner. And then there's that side one again. Just look how pretty the details are. 
and that is the blanket and I'm really glad that I didn't wait or walk out without getting one of these because I love Vera Bradley's blankets so much and I don't have a lot of them I have a few of them and they're all in use either in here or somewhere else in the house so I was like this is going to be my special blanket that's just mine because <laughs> I I do love this print and as you can see I never really do this with a new newly released print I might pick up something little like a zip ID or cosmetic but I never go this crazy um now that's how much I like this print so that is my hummingbird park slash hummingbird blooms haul I hope you all enjoyed it hopefully I will be back real soon to do a uh, video on my custom tote which I'm super excited about too and um also I'll get on those requested videos this time I did screenshot all of the comments so I can remember exactly what I need to do and I will be back on uh, YouTube very soon uh, with those videos. Also, if you do want to see a video on what I'm carrying today in my bag, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, my handle is vbpeachy. And I will leave a link to my Instagram in the uh, description box down below in case you are interested. I did do an IGTV video on there today. Just kind of showing you the bag and what I've got inside in case that's something you were interested in. So thank you all for watching. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll see you again soon. Bye.